Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading for March 2022. Let's see what's going on with you when it comes to love. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. We have fated meeting. So you met this person that you're dealing with for a reason or you're soon to meet someone for a reason. It looks like this is a soulmate connection here because we have soulmates. So let's see. We have surrender and we have proposal. Some of you may be going to the next level with your person next month. I'm hearing that if all is well or if all goes well, you guys could be going to the next level in your relationship in March. You're being asked to just let go and not really focus too much on anything. But let's see. We have alpha female. We have put in the work, Aaliyah, try again vibes. So some of you are giving this relationship another shot. This could be, you guys could have gotten back together recently or soon to. Forever my lady, eternal love, marriage proposal again. Pregnancy, empress, reciprocity. You're definitely reconnecting with someone who is your soulmate, for sure. So if you are wondering, What's going to happen between you and the person that you do love? I do see. Wow, we have apology. This is really cute. I see. I see like really, really positive vibes here. So let's see. The person Pisces has in mind. What are the energies between the two for the month of March? What are the energies here between the two? So here we have someone who has taken the reins when it comes to their life. This person's taking back control of their life and they seem to have made some really positive changes. There's this transformation energy here. They could be a Scorpio for some of you, but they've decided to make some changes. Okay. You, I'm seeing that you are having trouble deciding or making a decision. I feel like you may be expecting an apology from this person or you may have an apology for them. But you are in this energy of dreaming a lot, I guess, and having a lot of hopes for your connection. I'm seeing that you do need to kind of just believe that you will get what you want and just let go so that it can come into your life. The mutual energy. There is a guardedness to the both of you as well. But there's a lot of passion. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Sagittarius, Pisces as well, fellow Pisces. This person is giving things a lot of thought. They're thinking about positive change. They're thinking about how to make things work for the best. Because I feel like this person is really putting emphasis on the fact that things need to be good between the both of you. And in the near future, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. So it's only a matter of time before you guys go into this commitment or get become stronger, go to the next level. Both of you may have been doing a lot of healing, protecting yourselves, healing your heart, because you both have this, you know, self-protectiveness going on. But you're both kind of waiting to see what happens. We have this Knight of Swords here. So there is something that's heavily on someone's mind. I do see that your person is the one doing a lot of thinking. Some of you may be stressing a little bit if things are not going too well. Like you may be taking it too far, like thinking, overthinking the situation when it may not be as bad as you're thinking. So you may be stuck in your head and kind of being stressed when the problem isn't as big as it looks. So let me look at your main spread. with Pisces when it comes to love. What are the love messages for Pisces? We have the moon. 
could be dealing with a fellow Pisces, but you're kind of stuck in this unknown. Like you don't really know what's going on beneath the surface. And I hear that you should not be stressed about that is what I'm hearing. Because you may be thinking about it too much. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Cancer, Pisces. So this person, their energy towards you is quite warm. They have the sun. Sorry, their feelings towards you. They're seeing you as the King of Cups and they have judgment here. So this person feels like this is fate. They do believe that this is a fated meeting with this judgment card being here. So this person is kind of thinking about how you guys met, what it means spiritually and what they should do next, what the, what the next step should be. You know, and I feel like their intentions are quite warm quite positive they're seeing you as the person that they love and there is this strong energy of the high priestess overall for your connection here i see you moving um quite quickly emotionally with this person or really um talking a lot to this person about how you feel or them talking to you how they feel about how they feel there's a lot of forward movement you both seen each other as kings king of swords king of cups this person's seeing you as the more emotional one while you're seeing this person as the king of swords, so male or female. You're seeing them as this, you know, logical person. So they like to do a lot of thinking while you may just feel like, yeah, this should be, but they're, they have to do all the thinking first before they feel comfortable moving forward. So with divine timing, mutual energy, there's this divine time type energy where it's only a matter of time before things move forward. We have this six of pentacles as what's um, blocking. So Pisces, you may be giving too much. That's how I feel. I feel like you might be giving too much and thinking too much. You're really needing to relax in the month of March. I feel like the more you relax, the better you'll feel and the quicker things will fall into place for you. And your outcome is the nine of pentacles like you getting what you want here being abundant kind of just living in the moment that you want to live in that's your outcome here let me see why the eight of wands yeah a lot of you you are working on yourself a lot. So I feel like a lot of your healing and focusing on how to protect yourself in love, working on your energy. Just be careful of the amount of energy that you put into another person or into your relationship. You're being asked to have more balance. Why the moon? Two of Pentacles. So, Pisces, I think I feel like because you just don't know what's coming, you're just really stressed out and anxious about it, and you're really just needing to relax. Okay, really needing to relax. There's a lot of thinking. Why the King of Swords. Yeah. You're seeing this person as major, major swords energy. So it's like this person does those thinking, like they their thing is to think. They could be an air sign, Aries, sorry, Aries. <laughs> Gemini Libra Aquarius. Why the sun? So this person, they definitely, some of you could have a child together or a child on the way, but there's definitely attraction, even if there's no child, it's just that the empress can be pregnancy. And with the son, it can be pregnancy with a boy. But this person's attraction is, I feel like they are very much tied up in this relationship. They do overthink. I feel like that's something you both do, but you both do it in different ways. You may overthink and kind of stress about things, but they overthink when they're trying to make a decision. Why the Nine of Pentacles? High Priestess. Well, 
Pisces, you're really getting what you want. This is your outcome. This is this is a lot. This is marriage, okay? A strong connection, even if it's not actual marriage. With the high priestess being here, it's definitely some type of strong connection going to the next level, going deeper. And with the lovers, it's like, this is everything. And then you've got judgment here. This is a card that means fate. Things that are meant to happen. The, the, the universe is orchestrating this. So there's really nothing for you to stress about. This doesn't mean that you're all going to get a proposal in March. Or that you're going to propose in March to your person. I'm just seeing going to the next level. Taking the next step. Being comfortable doing so. I had to stop for a sec. Sorry about that. Why the Six of Pentacles? Okay. So yeah, you're definitely have to, having to protect your energy. Because you can, some of you may become codependent sometimes, like um, really putting your energy into helping your person or helping people in general. And you're needing to always remember to take care of yourself, take back your power in situations, make sure you're giving yourself equal amounts of love. Okay, so let's see. What do we have for Pisces? Wild card. Love. Know your worth and contract. <clears throat> so a lot of you, it, it could be a marriage coming up. Committing to each other. But there's also this aspect of self-love, needing to take care of yourself. Um, with wild card, I get the feeling that you're needing to have more fun as well. Let's see. What do we have for this connection? All right. We have think it over and know for now. So we follow the light. So it seems like this person is just needing more time to think it over. I feel like that's their thing is thinking things over. And I feel like the no for now is if you guys are dealing with conflict, I feel like this person wants peace. So we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So we got two soulmates. Sorry. I just... Was that a yawn? We have two soulmate cards. Okay. So this is definitely an important relationship for you. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I feel like you're needing to pay attention when you feel like you're giving too much of yourself to, sorry, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So really positive energy. I just, I only feel like the one thing you have to watch out for is putting too much into this. Stressing yourself out because you're not knowing what's to come. It's best to just surrender. Understand that you are secure in your relationship and just be free. Surrender. Let it happen. Let it flow. Okay. So Pisces, this is what I'm seeing for you. you could be dealing with a Libra. We have, we have Libra, Gemini, Leo, Capricorn. Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, those are the main signs. Aquarius too. So feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on for you when it comes to love for the month of March. Like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.